Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Talk. You got a question? Uh, come on with it. Okay, that, that, yeah, she wanted to ask you a question. She said, I got to ask you. over a little bit so she'll be right beside you. Okay. Okay, you're good right You got there. her on the camera there? Yeah, she on the camera. Okay, yeah, let's, 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 let's April? That would be April Nicole. April Nicole? A.K.A. the Plug Goddess. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and, and you just heard the, the astounding list. Mm -hmm. So what, what, uh, what... What did you? Th I thought it was a great list. To be honest with you, man. The choices, the people, man. I like I said, uh, I was definitely into it. Hey, get that. Yeah, I'm going and uh, man, that's just just a dope look, man. So, uh, April Nicole, what what do you think? Well, first of all, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank okay. you for having me on the mic this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having yeah. me on the mic this time. Um, you know, I think it is an awesome list because mm -hmm. I do I do hear some improvements. Oh, and. That's super dope. However, I wonder why there's only been one female gatekeeper on the list, and this would be the third year. And when I think about it, because I understand this from a publicist standpoint, mm -hmm. and for people that don't don't know who I am, I am the CEO of Nicole Paradigm LLC and Nicole Paradigm Media. I've been publicist to very um, a lot of different individuals that are on this gatekeepers list and i also understand that you know not trying to have a feminist movement or anything mm -hmm. but it's a lot of a lot of gatekeepers on this list that really are who they are because of who we are who we are to them so there mm -hmm. are so many females in the dallas metroplex beyond they can pick up the phone they get these calls when these artists come in town mm -hmm. and we are really the ones that are making these things happen now do these gatekeepers say oh you know it's really so and so that's really making the moves absolutely not but we're the ones making the moves and I do want to give a shout out to Radio Raheem mm -hmm. because I am never satisfied now so um, and I'm grateful to see that because as humble as he is he's not you know he's not loud he's not boisterous and I'm I'm grateful to be, you know, representing a brand that's like super dope, super humble and super about, you know, promoting artists, promoting mm -hmm. not just artists. Um, we got Lardy B signed, you know, we have other artists from different genres. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm definitely in a in a great place. But, you know, I, I even want to give a shout out to Shamar because Shamar is how I got my start. Mm -hmm. I would not be where I was if it was not for Shamar. Um, he looked at me one day many, many years ago and he was like, you know, you're a publicist. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing all this writing, but you know, we have a lot of individuals and the list is really cut. You know, I want to, I want to, I just want, I want to ask though, what is, do it, what is the issue with the list? Just that it doesn't have females on it. There has not been, any, been much female presence since DJ Duff. I want to give him a chance to speak to that. No, I, I think that's correct. Um, it hasn't been. Uh, I, I've I've done my due diligence because I didn't want to put a female on here just for the sake of putting one on here. Right. I want to be able to put a female on here that when you see a Carl Crawford, you see her name and it evens out. Um, I think women in this game is definitely starting to make their head. Like shout out to DTX Nova. She doing her thing for sure. Mm -hmm. I definitely considered that. Um, let's see who else. Um, it was a few that we considered, but like the way that we kind of voted, it was just one of those things that like women are, hip hop for so long has been male dominated. Women are coming up right now, but right now we just didn't see that person that was that female that was literally on that level. And we tried. Like, it's a lot of women doing their thing. It's a lot of men that got on this list that got great women behind them. That's no one does anything alone, right? Nobody. It's it's always a team. I would say right now is y'all keep doing your thing. I feel like more is coming. Um so you're saying that they need to be more upfront. I think so. It's, and that's what guys do. Guys get out there and if you, unfortunately we in the world, if you ain't seen, you ain't heard. Mm -hmm. If you're not seen, you're not heard. And it's unfair because sometimes that means as long as I'm the loudest, that means I convince people I'm the best. That's not always the case, but that is kind of the game right now. Uh, I try to do my best to, uh, and of course, 
Educate me. Like, who did we miss? Because that's the other great thing about the gatekeeper list is you see these people on the list, but you see the people in the comments that say, hey, but you forgot about this person and it asked that person. And what that does is reveal other people. I was about to say, do you take that into consideration you, you when you that's see That's how that. I found about Shamar. Shamar wasn't okay. on the first list. Okay. And I was in the comments spamming him, spamming him, yeah. spamming him because I know his contribution. I'm, I'm all for Dallas. I'm all for Dallas culture. And, you know... I'm not by any means. I'm not even putting myself on the gatekeeper list yeah. because I, I'm really trying to change the narrative, not necessarily speaking about myself. But he said one DTX Nova. Nova is doing her thing. Like she's For really sure. doing her thing, um, and she's probably done more things than you would know about because we have. Yeah, you say we got to do our things. We got to be more upfront. We've been doing it. Nicole Paradigm is a 10... I've been in this game 10 years. Mm -hmm. But guess what I had to do as a woman? I had to leave Dallas. I stayed in Dallas. Guess where I had to go get clients? L.A., Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I don't have an OG in Dallas. My OG is in Los Angeles. Shouts out to Freeway Rick Ross. When I make a call, that's who I make a call to. I think about another other people that... On that list, mm -hmm. when I who I call when people come in town, mm -hmm. or if I need to get in contact with Jay Prince, I pick up the phone. I call Larry from Real Hair. That's who I make calls to. I have individuals that I make calls to that I have these relationships with, and a lot of them are not on the list. I don't even know if you consider the Real Hair Larry. I know he's just now getting into the concert game, but literally anybody that I want to talk to in the game, Mm -hmm. He's, I'm picking up the phone and I'm calling him if I can't reach them. I pick up the phone and I call Shamar if I can't. So let me make them. this clear. Just because you're not on this list does not make you, that doesn't disqualify you or say you're not a gatekeeper. The, I know people have been, can I use the word traumatized? Or people have been conditioned that when a list drops, like this is the best and this is the only. And so when you see this list, this list isn't coming to say this is the best, this is the, on, the only, but in 2022, this is like, hey, these are the ones we want to be able to recognize and love on and give their roses for the work that they're doing. Sure, it's a lot of other people out there. It doesn't mean that they're not gatekeepers. I just don't want to make a fucking list that's 200 people long. I just kind of feel like the word gatekeeper, you gave the definition mm -hmm. and you said these are individuals that mm -hmm. artists um, they're able they to have a power artists. platform connection or influence. Mm. And it's a lot of people that have it. There are a lot of people are they have, using it. They don't have to. That's theirs to use or not. So they have the platform, yet they may not be using it, but they qualify as a gatekeeper. What I'm saying is the people on the list are using it. Now, this is what you have to say is this, though, because this is the problem. This is when subjectivity comes into play. I may say they're doing a great job. Your idea of a great job may be they're doing a terrible job. And so I, it's hard for me to say I'm going to create something that's objective that everyone is going to agree with. It's, it's not. It's impossible. Even if me and you sat down and we vetted every person to the T and tried to come up with the most perfect list, somebody's going to tell us this list is bullshit. Because it's subjective of what help is. When somebody's like, oh, they not helping. But then you're like, how do you help? And then I hear your definition of help. I hear this artist's definition of help. Everybody got different ideas of what help is. And so, therefore, on this list, it's just like, hey, to not be on this list is not to say you don't qualify. And on this right now, it's just like, let's give a chance to give these people their roses while they're here for what they're doing. Anybody else that's not on this list, Drop the comments on who should be on this list. Still love on these people because what people are going to do is then try to discredit these people so that these people down here can fit. That's mm -hmm. getting added. You don't have to do that. It's enough room for everyone wow. because the goal of the list is that for artists to know what's in their backyards. So if even when you see this list, you don't see who you rock with on this list. I don't know everybody. Texas is what the second largest state mm -hmm. in the country. How the fuck I'm going to know everybody. It's impossible. That's it is why it's impossible. important for them to, wow. to put in but the, the comments. And that's why the list is important because it creates a dialogue that you and I are having. Don't what about this person? What about this person? If there's no list, then people just float. Right. Like it. Like it. Yeah. Love it. Love the answer. Um, April Nicole, man, I, I, I hope that uh, 
Uh, hey, man, uh, I hope Big D the mogul uh, gave you the answers that you needed. Um, uh, I mean, uh, definitely the list is going to be coming out annually. and uh, uh, Every year. Every year, and, and it's gonna go down, man. Just like this every time, and I love the, I love the, 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 the friction and the, 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 the way that it brings you people need the to negative awareness. And the positive. Yeah, yeah, no, no, awareness, <laughs> like energy. wow, you know. I wasn't negative though. No, no, no. no, no he talking negative. about he talking about objective. No, what what I mean by negative is this: you gotta have both. That's all he's saying. Negative yeah. not about bad and wrong. It's just about you need the both sides to create in a, a narrative, and the narrative is energy. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? That's it. That's all wow. I'm saying. I do want to say this. I do want to commend you because by you starting these li this list, there have been many other lists created by bloggers. Mm -hmm. You know, um, shouts out to Real Tune. Shouts out to you know that was global. TV, yeah, that all was global. Yep. All of the guys. Trio talk, talk, no pill talk. talk. Stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I'm do that. Sorry. Don't do that. I'm just you know <laughs> off the top of my head. I want to give a shout out to these individuals because um, during the pandemic, most of these blogs started during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. It's a great thing. Um, a lot of them capitalized off of death, you know, but it's a narrative. It's mm -hmm. a narrative. I don't have any negative thing to say about that. But what I do have to say is that I'm April Nicole. I'm a Dallas native. I've been in this game for a while. I am definitely going to be the forefront of pushing the feminine narrative in 2022 Dope. because, and I love our men. I love black men. I'm definitely not a basher. I'm definitely not a feminist, but what I am here for is to make sure that we get our flowers. We, it has been a long time. We have supported a lot and we could, you know, we could go, um, and a lot of these women that I've been speaking with, yeah, we could go in the direction of like a super head and do a tell all book. Mm. We don't want to do that. All we are saying is when when people roll in town, our, our phones ring too. For sure. Dope, dope. You know, For sure. we also making sure artists are taken care of down to, uh, they need IV strips, they need diabetic we we do a lot for sure and we're not runners a lot of us are bosses because i'm definitely a boss not a worker but a boss i'm a servant as well but what i do is i take care of everyone that's attached to me and i make sure that the individuals that are my clients that i'm working with whomever they bring in town they are going to be taken care of and that's one of the reasons they want to continue um they want to start a relationship Already. But I want to, I just want to, I want everyone to know, April Nicole, those that don't know me, y'all should, but I have been in the background on some occasions. Definitely. But I'm definitely going to be in the forefront. I'm definitely going to be You coming for the list? The, not, you know, I like him. I ain't no, I'm just saying, you, you coming to be on really the list. I appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. You I coming. appreciate his effort. I would never down what he's doing. Um, it's not, it's not about my opinion on the list. Shouts out. I'm I'm really excited that Radio Raheem is on the list because I was getting ready to, you know. Is <laughs> that what this is all about? Absolutely not. Okay. Because <laughs> like I said, there's so many people on that list that I've worked with. You know what I'm saying? All three of the lists. I just wanted I just want Dallas to understand we need a culture and that culture is going to be built on Male energy and female energy and togetherness. We have artists. We have a list. How many of these lists, how many of these individuals have a signed artist? Shouts out to Shamar. He got Suji Cash signed with Kodak Black. I'm, and, I, and I'm not getting ready to shout everybody out. Yeah. But we're talking about gatekeepers. And I want to see these, these next lists with these artists. Who's signing them? Who's getting them deals? We need a record label in Dallas. We got to come together. Okay. It's time. Man, thank you so much, man. Thank you for we having me. We appreciate you. Did you want to say something before she left? The, just to get out of here. I, 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 I still got to talk to you some more. Okay. Before. I just want to say this. Um, the gatekeeper, listen, to my opinion, it ain't about just breaking the artist. Because the only per only people that can break the artist is the fans. I don't care if you get signed to Kodak Black. I don't care if you sign to Drake. If the people won't gravitate to the music, it doesn't matter who you attach yourself to. And so when you look at these gatekeepers, don't go to them as far as them breaking you as an artist. Approach the gatekeepers. Understand what their superpower is. Uh, and use that to your leverage to get you in front of more people because it is the people who break the artists. Man. That's it.
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.